Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighbor Dr. Jimmy128 and finally you're seeing a familiar background. I am uh, back in Cebu. However, if you notice the boxes on my... Most of the boxes are gone. I actually left them in Davao. Because uh, like, you know, I did not want to bring them back to Cebu anymore because I know that eventually I'm going back to Davao. But anyway, today I have finally uh, a review video for, uh, my for my brand new laptop, the MSI. GE40 Dragon Eyes uh, gaming laptop. So um, you know there are a lot of things that you know, uh, and I think it's you know only right that I made the video a couple of months after uh, a month after using the laptop because you know you really 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 cannot uh, you really can't you know give a valid review without actually using the thing over an extended period of uh, over extended period of time so yeah um let's actually start off with uh, the aesthetic um you know it uh i'm sure you you guys can google the pictures anyway um but it has a nice aluminum finish um and at the top of the laptop it's a dark brush aluminum finish it has really really nice looking uh dragon eyes which i have a shot uh, right there for everyone um, and it's really it looks very very sexy and slim though um, the the main bezel is plastic it it, it, it feels kind of cheap uh, especially for a laptop of this price uh, and it you know tends to heat up uh, quite a lot because it's really it's it, it's made of plastic but I'll get into you know uh, heat issues later on right now we're just talking about aesthetics and it's a beautiful beautiful looking laptop those green eye uh, those dragon eyes really you know um really make all the difference uh in, you know in terms of aesthetics and then now um from, uh, let's move over to portability this is a very 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 portable laptop though it might not be as portable as their GS series their health stealth series which I I I've never you know had a chance to get my hands on it but uh, it's really portable it's ultra light really it weighs just uh, about 4.2 pounds and that's really uh, you know for if for even you know for a girl that's a very very lightweight so it's really lightweight um, and it's easy to bring around I bring it around in my bag most often and we're just bag huh and you know I, I don't really feel the weight oh well, of course the weight is there that's four pounds but I, I I'm carrying the charger and everything but you know it I, it's really easy to carry unlike most gaming laptops this is really a breakthrough uh, for MSI to pack such a powerful gaming laptop into something so small but then again it does have its disadvantages so I'm going to get over it, uh, go, uh, go into that later on. So from uh, aesthetic and portability, let's talk about my experience with the LED display or the LCD display of the laptop. Now, sitting in front of it like I am right now, the colors are just beautiful. Um, I really love watching movies uh, with the laptop. Um, especially you know, since I can like lie down there and just watch. Oh, Lord. I mean, I mean, I, I've watched Lord of the Rings on this laptop for like uh, more than I don't know six, seven times. Then that's all three movies, and you know the it it really you know the 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 color display and everything really brings me into the world of Middle Earth. Getting a little bit nerdy, and it, it has a really nice anti-glare panel. Now there was a uh, there was, I had this experience where I was riding the bus on the way home. Yes, I take the bus going home when I was in Davao, and you know there was sunlight creeping through the window, and there was it. It did not really affect you know the display. Uh, I could still see everything on the screen well, and, it, and the light did not reflect onto my eyes, which would have caused blindness. So. Um, really really huge plus for the anti-glare uh, panel um, and the, how, uh, the brightness of the screen is also adjustable however it doesn't really really get super ultra bright though the colors are vibrant uh, what else yeah another downside 
Uh, there is uh, one more downside to the L the, the the display panel, and that is the viewing angles. So, even as I lean back, okay, the well, not really lean back because my eyes are like you know basically in this, uh, the same angle. But as I turn, as 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 I stand up, okay, um, I think a couple of degrees. I'd say forty-five degrees or thirty degrees change of angle uh, 30 degree change of angle um, would really really already affect you know what you're seeing on the screen so it doesn't have very nice viewing angles the colors tend to get distorted the the wider you know the angle is and uh, sometimes when I lie down I have to like I have to like pull the screen this way or that way or adjust it this way when I'm I mean, adjust it like that when I'm like sitting up. Then if I'm about to lie down, I have to adjust it back down so that I can clearly see. You know, so that's for a laptop this price. It's really I would call it a subpar LCD panel. You would you know, at least expect something similar to that of an IPS panel, but that would be really expensive you know, to put into a laptop. But I believe it has been done. I'm not really a laptop person, so I don't have the authority to say that. IPS might be possible or not. I don't know. I'm not a laptop person. This is my very first laptop and you know, I will not uh, Expound more on that particular topic. So subpar LCD uh, But you know for me, it's fine. I just adjust and uh, it's really fine with me. Um, it's not an issue Because hey, I can lie down. Ha ha. Now, let's see what else. Audio. Audio is something that uh, Really surprised me here. Of course for those of you who do not know uh, the laptop uses the Sound Blaster Cinema from Creative, so this you can enhance, you know, the audio of the laptop. It's a built-in sound card. Um, it sounds really, really nice. You can in, uh, really enhance, you know, the loudness, the bass. Uh, you can even emphasize the conversations when you're watching videos around and everything. But even the built-in speakers on the laptop sound really nice. I mean, um, I can sit like all the way there. I, I mean, I can lie down on my bed and still, uh, you know, hear the exact same loudness from the laptop when uh, when I'm just like sitting in front. So, yeah, a really nice audio, especially when you you plug in headsets. Oh my God, you know the the, the onboard sound card is really really beautiful. And but uh, maybe one little downside is. Uh, the base on the speakers or the laptop isn't really 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 you know really really strong it's really it's kind of light but it, there is an option to adjust the base but base really is not you know the the it's not really something that uh, would gain a lot of attention for a gaming laptop so you know uh, b the base thing doesn't really bother me it's a gaming laptop it has it's not it's not it's not a laptop for music enthusiasts or anything so there uh the keyboard is fine it's a chiclet style keyboard it has a nice layout a good size enter button uh i had no problems with the control button being one square big um uh i do like the idea of the arrow keys uh being available readily available on the right hand side um what else yeah the keyboard is, is is it's decent you know um i can still i can still type pretty well not uh, uh pretty well on the keyboard however um one thing that i like to do on keyboards is play super street fighter 4 and then uh the keyboard well yeah the keyboard doesn't have, doesn't have any anti-ghosting feature which i think is re reasonable because uh, any you know, any pro, a, a, any gamer would most likely have his own keyboard with anti-ghosting. But you know, uh, for me, it it would be nice for me if the keyboard you know had anti-ghosting properties and and properties you know, had anti-ghosting. But you know, it's not really. I don't think uh, anyone would you know have a problem with that except for me. So of course you know if I when I play Street Fighter I use my keyboard my mechanical keyboard so yeah but you know it'd be cool <laughs> to have a to have that feature but i guess it might cost more anyway 
and of course um, it's uh, the, the the palm rest uh, below the keyboard is really comfortable I had no problems you know uh, typing on the key on the keyboard all day it felt really nice uh, it didn't, didn't really strain my wrists at all but of course it's advisable that you take breaks uh, every every so often you know, especially when you're when you're using or typing right uh, the touchpad. The touchpad is relatively small, and this is mainly because it's a gaming laptop, and most gamers would have their own mouse and uh, mouse pad. So, but of course, you know, it's a laptop. You still need the trackpad. So the trackpad is it's rather small. It's like that. <laughs> it's really small. It has a nice uh, silver uh, click, uh, left click, right click button. Um, it, it, it adds a nice, you know, high-end feel uh, to the lap, to the touchpad, but one problem I have with it is it's a huge, huge fingerprint magnet, so every time you touch it, you see your fingerprints. So, you know, you can also use it as a, a means of identifying who's been using your laptop and you're not looking. But yeah, I, I have to wipe it off every time, because every time I look at it, it, it it's ugly. So I have to wipe it off. Heat. Ah, uh, here we go. Heat. An issue that uh, a lot of people are very concerned about. Now, let's look at a couple of things here. Number one, this is a gaming laptop. Okay, I have not talked about the specs yet, but let me talk about the specs now. It comes with the Core i7 4702Q. This uh, processor is really, really, you know, this is the Haswell processor. It's really high. It's like the highest end, I think, for the Haswell i7 processors. It packs, you know, quite a punch. Um, I heard uh, benchmark wise it is very similar to the i5 2500k so it's really strong especially if it's in a laptop oh my god um, next you have the GeForce GTX 760M that my friends is no scrub of a mobile video card that's a high end very very powerful um, la uh, laptop video card 8 gigs of RAM so you would really need you know uh, good cooling and reasonable you know breathing room in, in, uh, in your laptop for these components to work however MSI um, you know, pack everything into a very small into a really really small package I didn't talk about the dimensions right it's 13.3 inches by nine inches by 0.8 less than an inch thick and the components I, I i actually tried to open it and the components were really really compact and despite the heat pipes being really not really massive and the heat sink uh you know the heat sink fan uh, working its ass off the laptop tends to get extremely ex extremely hot especially if you're gaming for over six to eight hours so um where you put your palms uh your your hat where you rest your hands on gets very hot the left side of uh, the laptop which is where the exhaust is gets extremely extremely hot to the point where you can cook maybe yesterday's uh leftovers on if you put them there or um, if you want to heat up some pizza, you can just put it on a plate beside the ig the ex the exhaust, and then you know you'll have uh, freshly baked pizza. <laughs> it gets extremely hot. So, um, but, uh, oh yeah, and I also heard a report uh, of someone who bought this laptop. He game he played on it for about uh, six hours, I believe. Then he turned it off, closed the laptop, went to sleep, and when he woke up turn the laptop on the left side of the LCD display was burned because of the very very hot you know because it the that particular part of the screen it came in contact with the left side of the laptop where the exhaust is so that is that's that that's a testament to how hot this laptop can get and it's understandable all those all these components up in a very very small package create this heat and first the sheer power of the components themselves so is this a deal breaker for me no 
because I can make adjustments for that not to be a problem. Adjustment number one, get a laptop cooler. Uh, I did, I had, a, I made an unboxing video of the Cooler Master Notepal i300. It helped uh, my laptop dramatically. Um, throughout the entire benchmark process, uh, it only got as hot as 73 degrees. So I didn't have the chance to do, run the benchmarks without the laptop cooler. I would rather not because I want to prolong the life of my laptop as long as possible. But if it was a, re if it, if it, if it was a review sample, then you know I would really push it, right? But there, okay. So get a laptop cooler. Um, maybe have an external electric fan like what some, what I have right here. Uh, you know, keep keep it on to help cool the laptop down. And then for your laptop cooler, I suggest getting a cooler where uh, you can position the fan yourself, so uh, so that you know you can position it right under you know the the ventilation of uh, you know at the bottom of the laptop, so that for optimal cooling. And then uh, another second adjustment that you and I can make. Is after gaming for a long time, just give it five to ten minutes to cool down. You can turn it off right away. You just turn it off, let it cool down for five to seven minutes, then a uh, five to five to ten minutes, and close it. Very good. Okay. So again, the laptop gets really, 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 really hot. Simply get a laptop cooler and allow the laptop to cool down after your super uber long gaming sessions. Okay. So there, that's it for heat. Now let's talk about battery life. For uh, as a lot of you may know, gaming laptops don't really have the best battery life. There has to be a compromise for you know having such powerful components. I mean, my girlfriend Samsung 5 Series laptop lasts a hell of a lot longer than this you know but uh, the, the battery life of the uh, of the GE 40 series is pretty decent you can get just under two hours of unplugged gaming so I'm talking about games like Borderlands super, uh, I play a lot of Super Street Fighter 4 um, emulator games might not be as heavy or battery consuming yeah you can get a good two hour uh, a little under two hours gaming on the laptop unplugged but of course you know it i keep the laptop plugged all the, plugged all the time so um not an issue not really an issue for me but it's a pretty decent battery uh for a gaming laptop um unplugged i get about six to eight hours of simple web streaming and you know that's 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 pretty good for me you know it, it can last it's it, it's more than enough to Let's say last me uh, it, and to stay alive during a, my, a, a plane flight from Cebu to Davao or a bus ride from Davao to Panabo City or a boat ride you know from here to Bacolod of course I need to find an outlet but yes so battery life is pretty decent okay I think I I that my uh, sort of, I think I covered just about everything. Oh yeah, uh, for uh, for the connections, of course you have your uh, Ethernet port. You have two USB 2 ports, one USB 3, audio jacks, uh, external card reader. I'm sorry, a built-in card reader, and a VGA and HDMI out. So if you're gonna use this on a projector, then no problem. You have two options. So you have the HDMI or VGA. So yeah, that's it has really pretty good connectivity and it has a built-in DVD. Or is this Blu-ray? I don't know. I think it's DVD. Yeah, so that's it. Now let us get down to the juicy, juicy, wooshy, cushy part. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen. The benchmarks. Ooh, I wonder if you can see that just fine. I think you can. So, um, I know I posted a lot of uh, benchmark uh, tests on my FB page, however, you know, I was only able to come 
to finish one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different tests. But I think this should be more than enough. The first test, though, is quite an anomaly. And by anomaly, I mean, what's wrong? Anong mali? <laughs> right? Because in 3 Mark Vantage, I, it scored a T-score of 13,587, which is normally, you know, your score for your desktop video cards and systems. A graphics score of 12,255 and 20. A CPU score of uh, 21 5 power so i think that's just an anomaly i'm going to run the test again and maybe you know post it post the the updated results in the comments below because when i check the the listings uh, this actually scored much this is a score that's much better than uh, a high-end uh, super ultra high-end gaming laptop with let's say a 7970m this is a 760m so um yeah, so we can disregard this for now until I confirm that this is a correct score. For D Mark 11, this was a little bit more accurate. Uh, I got a total uh, P score of 3626, which actually scored higher than the benchmark that uh, a different review site was able to get. So yay, I think it's simply because of the updated driver. Uh, graphics score of 3453. CPU score of 6247 and a total combined 3D Mark 11 score of 2895 which is a it's, it's it's healthy for a laptop of its price laptop a laptop of its price okay so there for fire strike uh, I decided just uh, just to um, you know show the score for fire strike so for fire strike uh, the frames really really ultra low it's like below 5 throughout the entire test but that's what fire strike is designed to be it's designed to be a super test of graphics cards and processing and i am sorry for the campaign music behind me oh god can you please stop campaigning of course elections are on the 28th anyway so i got a total score of 2209 graphics score of 2297 physics score of 8095 and a combined score of 900 and 30. now for my favorite benchmark heaven i love this benchmark so much so for heaven um the resolution was 1600 by 900 i had a aa of uh, times four and tessellation set to normal i had an average frame rate of uh, 20.9 fps so we can just say 21 fps i had a max fps of uh, 46.3 i don't really Consider it a minimum because you know it can just dip all of a sudden for no reason at all and not be related to how your graphics card or your uh, device or not device your, or your computer actually performs. And it had a heaven score of 526, which is pretty fine because I remember my computer had like 1200 plus, so this is like the, a little under a third of that score. So, pretty decent, pretty decent. Now, a new benchmark that I uh, was able to try, whoops, I was not able to put in the results, but was Unigen Valley. So I had it on Ultra, preset uh, 1600 by 900, anti-aliasing set to times 4. Let's just look at the raw file itself. For Unigen Valley, I had an FPS of 23.9, so we can just say that's 24. It scored 1000. It had a thousand score, it had a score of 1000, I'm sorry, and then a max FPS of 46. For the AVP benchmark, it had I got a pretty pretty okay average. I had uh, it was the default settings for the benchmark, and I had an average of 44.8 frames. Now let's get to the the, the two games. Um, of course, again I apologize that uh, I wasn't really able to get a uh, a whole lot of gameplay uh, benchmarks for this test. But I think you know these two games are basically i think you can have a good idea of how well this laptop performs uh with these two games so the first game that i had that i tested it on was battlefield 3 of course this is not the latest game but you know uh, in its time it really really pushed the limit for all the computers and it's still a very very good benchmark for uh cpu and the graphics performance so i set it to ultra because i wanted to see how well the laptop could do under pressure 
and of course uh, the resolution of 1600 by 900 which is my laptop's native resolution so i had a minimum frame rate uh, frame per sec uh, minimum frames of 20 fps uh, i peaked at 74 fps and throughout the entire playthrough i uh, this is uh, operation uh, sword breaker uh, i had an average fps of 53 so this is extremely playable so that's almost 60 fps on ultra on native resolution so that speaks really well for how this laptop you know performs with very 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 demanding games battlefield 3 is still quite a demanding game so there and then of course uh, a game that i've been playing quite a lot or the game that i will be playing quite a lot borderlands 2 i set everything to high native resolution i had minimum frame of 20 again i don't really care because sometimes it just dips it could be because of lag or um a connection issue right with my friends but i had a max fps of 74 and average frame per frame rate of 53 frames per second extremely extremely playable so that's it uh, that was uh, my review of the msi g40 it can play absolutely any game if you put crisis here it will play crisis if you put assassin's creed assassin's creed will play if you put the witcher the witcher will play it'll play anything it'll play your street fighter 4 it'll play your uh street fighter cross tekken your ultimate marvel versus capcom it'll play your dota 2 most definitely it'll play your lol it'll play your starcraft 2 throw any game at this laptop and it will perform you will be able to play so final verdict for this laptop it is really if you're if you're in the market for a very portable laptop at a very very affordable price and uh, if you look at the specs price and performance is mm, could just golden i mean i7 uh, highest than i7 a gtx 760 8 gigs of ram uh, for 55,000 pesos that my friend is a good deal but again just be very careful of your laptop's temperature so again always be safe and uh, you know you will not regret um, getting this laptop I have not I, I me personally I have not regretted the moment that I chose to get this laptop it will play any game that I want. Uh, it's been my companion, right, uh, for, for the past month and a half. And I've developed a bond with this laptop. So uh, I hope I hope you found that you know helpful. I hope this gave you an idea of what you will be getting if you purchase this laptop. Personally, I say if you want to get this laptop, go ahead. It's a really nice laptop. Again, it will play any game play any game you can do some video editing on this if you're into 1080p video editing get the 16 gigabyte version if you want it to be a little faster get the one with the ssd or the one in raid zero but raid zero is not something that i really recommend just get the one with the ssd and you're good to go so that was my video review of the msi ge40 dragon eye You like that video please like if you hated the information i gave it was not accurate it's not credible i am just a noob you know you hate me i'm ugly uh you don't like the way i presented things and please feel free to dislike because you know it'll tell me that okay people don't like what i made so that's that's fair you have your opinion <laughs> Right. put a comment if you know if you if you if there are things you can suggest you know to make uh for me to make a better review in the future and yeah show me some love uh, i hope you guys enjoyed that this has been your funny neighbor dr jimmy signing off bye bye